So, Governor Cuomo, dear friends, today, after a hiatus of more than two and one half years, and thanks to the truly extraordinary generosity of the friends of St. Nicholas, and the dedication and the devotion of a few noble families, we begin again the construction to complete, to finish, and to bestow St. Nicholas National Shrine at the World Trade Center. We have heard the voice of the Lord, and we are rebuilding this church. We are here to give thanks. To give thanks first to Almighty God, whose providence has seen us through to consummate the course of our journey. To give thanks to the holy wonder worker Nicholas and his constant intercession on our behalf. To give thanks to our governor, Andrew Cuomo. And to give thanks to the people of New York who have stood by our side through a long night to now witness the dawn. To give thanks to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, whose chairman, Kevin O'Toole, is with us, as is the executive director, Rick Cotton, and our dear friend, World Trade Center Construction Director Steve Plate, who is with us today, who never lost faith on us. I cannot say enough for the Port Authority, who lost so many brothers and sisters on 9-11. We are here to give thanks to Skanska Construction and all those around the world whose passions and efforts are finally coming to fruition. To give thanks to our architect Santiago Calatrava and his love for Hagia Sophia that will be eternally present in this national shrine. To give thanks to the good and faithful parishioners and trustees of the St. Nicholas Parish who have prayed for this day to come. To give thanks to the friends of St. Nicholas, who have bridged the gap, kept the faith, and made all the difference. A little over a year ago, I said, it is our duty and our responsibility as Orthodox Christians, but also our obligation and commitment to God and His people. It's our obligation, I said, to complete and open the doors of the St. Nicholas National Shrine. And today, we begin to fulfill that promise to God, promise to St. Nicholas, to the parish, to our church, to the good people of the city of New York, to America, and to the whole world. As construction recommences, I would offer just this final word before praying for the safety and good health of all those construction workers who are blessed to rebuild this monument of faith and love. Ten days ago only, the greatest church ever built, not the very largest, but indeed the greatest by far, the greatest church in the world, was taken away from the world in an act of domination and chauvinism. Our Hagia Sophia, the great Church of Christ in Istanbul, the queen of all the churches, reduced to the status of a pawn. Nearly 20 years ago, our Saint Nicholas fell with the thousands of our fellow human beings lost lost in the ashes of 9-11, and numberless more wounded in body, wounded in heart, 
and soul by a savage act, act of hatred and terror. We cannot, we must not, and we shall not let this stand. We are going to open St. Nicholas Church and National Shrine to open as a sign of love, not hate, a sign of reconciliation, not of prejudice, and a sign of the ideals that exist in this great American nation, where one's religious liberty and freedom of conscience never excludes but only embraces. I would now ask that you all please bow your heads in reverence, in reverence and remembrance for all those who perished that fateful day of September 11th, in honor of the heroes who rushed in where even angels fear to tread, and in respect for and solidarity with for the families who grieve still, and let us pray. Almighty and ever merciful God, who through your Son, Jesus Christ, showed us the way of love, we ask you to bless us as we rebuild this temple as an act of love, which is dedicated to your precious Saint Nicholas. Protect the workers who have returned to this holy place to rebuild in safety and peace. Guide their hands aright. Shield their eyes from harm. Grant unto them and all who contribute to this holy work every blessing of body and soul. And we, may we all know the same joy in our rebuilding that was known by the children of Israel when they started to rebuild the Temple of Solomon. As the scripture says, and when the builders laid the foundation of the Temple of the Lord, they sang together in praising and giving thanks unto Lord, for He is good and His mercy endures forever. But many of those who had seen the first temple, when the foundation of this second temple was laid before their eyes, they wept, they wept with a loud voice. And many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not tell the difference between the shouts of joy and between the sounds of weeping. Let us, O Lord, shout for joy and weep as we rebuild this holy place, which will welcome all people into a house of prayer. This St. Nicholas Church and National Shrine that we raise in your glorious and all-magnified name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, worshipped and glorified unto ages of ages. Amen. Kanona pisteos ke ikona praotitos Engratias didas kalona ne dixes etimpimnisum Iton pragmaton alithiam Dia tuto ectisotito pinosita ipsilam Tipto ichiata plusiam Pateri erarcha nikolaem Presve ve Christo to theom Soi thine tas psychasimon. Kalamira to all who are here today. Good morning. Your Eminence, I cannot thank you enough on behalf of the people of the state of New York. His Eminence has only been here about one year when he took over. He came from Istanbul, 
we met, we talked about St. Nicholas and how important it was. And His Eminence said he would make it a priority to get it done, and we are here today. Uh, not just blessing, but opening our hearts and opening our minds and feeling the spirit of love and faith that St. Nicholas will bring to this entire state. Let's give His Eminence a big round of applause and thank him very much for his leadership and his accomplishment. Uh, to Father Alex, to Dennis Meal and John Katsimatidis and Michael Saro, let's give them all a big round of applause for everything they did. We have the leadership of the Port Authority, who I am so proud of, our Chairman Kevin O'Toole, who is originally from the state of New Jersey, but he's also an honorary New Yorker, Your Eminence. Kevin O'Toole, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Rick Cotton, the extraordinary executive director of the Port Authority. Steve Platt, all the people of the Port Authority, congratulations to all of you for what you've done today. And to all the members of the Greek community who rallied together to address this issue and to make sure that St. Nicholas uh, was actually embodied on this magnificent site, which is truly going to be a landmark in New York. Thank you for your generosity, for your philanthropy, for your citizenship. To the Greek community. Your Eminence, I know that this has been a long time coming, and it's taken much work for many, many people. All the people who are building this site, all the government officials who have been involved. But the Lord works in strange ways. And that this should be happening now, I think is so powerful and so symbolic. We do have issues and challenges in this country. We are dealing with the COVID crisis, which is one of the worst things we've dealt with in modern history. But today makes the overarching message. We are going to build back the way we built back from 9-11. And when we build back, we are going to build back better and stronger with more solidarity and more faith and more spirit of community than ever before. This St. Nicholas, is going to be more splendid and more inviting than the St. Nicholas that was here before. Yes, we went through 9-11, but we rise from the ashes and we rise stronger than ever before. That's what this St. Nicholas will stand for. And it is a powerful message to all New Yorkers and all Americans. Now is not the time to worry about the current circumstance. Now is the time to rally together, to find our strength, to find our solidarity, and to say we're going to build back better and brighter and stronger together. St. Nicholas could not be happening at a better time for this state and nation, and we thank all of you. God bless you. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thank you.